simple pentatonic improvisation over a backing track. Now, one of the important things about having the backing tracks is that I've composed them in a way that they have emotion and feeling. Um, they're very simple. This particular one is called floating and it's more of a kind of ambient folk style. So it's a great one just to start off with. Um, and what we're going to do is allow the music to dictate to us how we, how we vary the plucks and, and how we move our scale. Okay, so that's very important. You start to allow the music to move you. Okay, let's just have a little listen to the backing track for a little while and just feel it out. You can count out the rhythm in a few ways. One, two. In that kind of slow way or faster. One, two, three, four, which is the way it was counted in at the intro. Okay, either way, we just want to feel that and then come up with some nice rhythm. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. I think you're getting the idea there. Just feeling the music and coming up with the different permutations. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pause there for a moment and just examine a few different techniques that we can employ to take this a little step further. Okay, you get a sense of what I'm doing there. I'm just making some little adjustments here with the rhythm and moving that over the scale and just trying to feel and connect to the music. If you want to advance a little bit and come up with new ideas, sometimes you've got to stop the backing track and just explore some different techniques. So let the, let's just do that now. One of the great techniques to employ to help shape your sound are legatos or hammers and snaps or pull-offs and hammers as well as slides and a whole range of other techniques. So let's look at the very, very first one that I like to teach, which is the hammer. The hammer is basically treating the, the fingers like little hammers. You pluck the string once, and then on the same string but the next note, you hammer down to create the sound with the left hand. Let's do it across the scale. Okay, so when we're coming up with rhythmic variation, da 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 dee da, you'll notice this, the way I sound that. I don't go da 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 da. I go da 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 dee da da ba dum ba dee ba do ba dee. Create different sounds with my mouth. That's quite natural and normal. So on the guitar, you want to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's got a different sound when we put the hammer in. after the hammer is the pull-off. 
It's basically the opposite. We put our finger on a particular note. Remember, we're still on the G pentatonic scale in the open position. And we're gonna pluck the note and then pull off. I call this left hand plucking because it's essentially the left hand doing the opposite of what the right hand does here. create that kind of vocal sound da 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 ya do da da yeah it's not so kind of uh, edgy uh, and um, I guess samey um, it's got a bit more flow to it all right let's hear what that sounds like doing the hammers and the pull-offs um, over the backing track. just employing a new technique uh, to shape the sound in a different way. So why don't you uh, have a break there, practice these uh, hammers and pull-offs, uh, and then get the backing track on and just practice improvising over the top of that with this simple scale. Good luck.